Oh, Shauna. Yeah. Those were great nerd news headlines. What is our final nerd oh, news this is headline one of the that week? Strikes me. I love this one. We got lock and key. We actually got the first look at Key House. We did, guys. The lock and key Netflix show. We uh, a couple weeks ago we reported. We showed the first poster. We showed you the release date. I think it was what is it? February seventh. I think uh-huh. the poster. But we got our first look at Key House. Oh my god! If you guys haven't read Lock and Key by Joe Hill, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal comic book run horror fantasy uh, comic book Mm -hmm. by uh, Joe Hill and uh, Gabriel Rodriguez. This is the first look at Key House, guys. Key House is uh, the estate. It's in Lovecraft, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. It's the house where the Locke family, the the main people of the story, the Locke family, um, they move back into their ancestral home after their father's murder. Yes. So, and what this house is, it's a very magical, very gothic home full of magical keys. And while they're there, they actually awaken uh, sort of a demon character who mm-hmm. is inside of the well house. Oh. So somewhere down in the well, there's this demon character, ghostly character that rises up out. Um, could not be more excited oh about Lock gosh. and Key, guys. We've read all the books. Um, I highly recommend you guys read the comics. They're yeah. absolutely phenomenal. What's got me most excited about this, A, this this first image is Key House. Uh-huh. Looks badass. I you can know. actually see the Lock family sort of standing in the front lawn. Yeah. Looks really cool. But if you didn't know, the showrunners for this movie, all you fans of the show Bates Motel, uh, Carlton Cuse was one of the showrunners for the show Bates Motel. If you haven't watched Bates Motel, you got to oh, watch man. it. Phenomenal, phenomenal show. Yes. It's, it's since wrapped. But uh, Carlton Cuse and Meredith Avril. Avril, uh, uh, one of the showrunners for Haunting of Hill House. Sweet. One of my favorite <laughs> Netflix shows of all time is Haunting of Hill House. Man, you combine Bates Motel with Haunting of Hill House. I oh, know. my God. Insanely is- excited. Oh, man. Can't wait for that either. So you, yeah, like you mix Bates Motel, Haunting a Hill House, and the amazing story of Lock and Key with magical keys, wow. ghostly figures, demons, crazy monsters, psycho magic. It's gonna be incredible. So guys, yeah. I know there's a lot of Lock and Key fans out there. Guys, sound off in the comment section. How excited are you for Lock and Key on Netflix? What do you think about these uh, images of Key House? And what do you think about the poster that uh, dropped a few weeks ago, guys? Sound off in the comment section. Let us know what you think. All right, guys, as promised, it's time for our Star Wars Rise of Skywalker spoiler conversation, guys. Lots of spoilers we're going to get into right now. (laughs) Uh, Joining us here for the Star Wars spoiler talk, a face who is becoming more and more common on the Chuck Loda Comics show, (laughs) our good friend Kyra Bella. Kyra, thanks for being here. I'm so happy to be here. I can't wait to talk about this. We, the three of us, went and saw Rise of Skywalker twice already. I know. We saw it opening night on Thursday. We saw it the very next night in Dolby.